Whoa. What's up guys, George from Filmora here, and today we're going to go over the top 5 video editing softwares for Windows 10. So if you're new to video editing or just looking to upgrade, I'm going to break down all the available options for you so you know what's right to choose. And by the way, we just updated our own video editing software, Filmora, to include a bunch of crazy features that you guys have been asking for. So if you haven't downloaded it already, you can try it free by clicking the link here or in the description box below. And if you're new to Filmora, make sure you leave a comment. Alright, let's get started. Number one, Windows Movie Maker. Now this free software is the simplest one to use from our list. It doesn't officially come with Windows 10 anymore, but you can still go download it and install it on your PC. We recommend Windows Movie Maker if you're just starting out in video editing and want to explore the basics. You can make a quick video using clips and images with simple audio tracks. However, you'll soon realize that for more advanced effects like transitions, filters, or overlays, you might want to consider a more advanced program to better suit your needs. Number 2. Filmora Filmora has an intuitive and simple approach to editing. If you're trying to make videos look more professional without the steep learning curve that comes with software, Filmora removes that hassle for you. With our giant library of music, LUTs, and effects, you can easily spice up your videos. With the wide range of support of video and audio formats, you can work on your projects worry-free. You can even import your files from Facebook and Instagram. And with our latest update, Filmora now has even more effects available like camera shake, PIP blend modes, and speed control. And if you'd like to try Filmora, you can try it for free from the website filmora.wondershare.com. Get out of there! This is my, my shot. Number three, Premiere Pro. If you're into video editing, you most likely already heard about Premiere Pro. It has been one of the most well-known tools used for professionals for its simple interface and large selection of effects. With its flexible trimming tools, unlimited multicam angles, and effects like warp stabilizer, and an internal color grading feature, Premiere Pro has all the tools you'll need to make your videos from start to finish. The best thing about Premiere Pro is the intuitive link between Adobe's other products like Photoshop and After Effects for a more advanced workflow. Although quite popular, Premiere Pro can have a steep learning curve for beginners and a complicated user interface. Now the only way to get a hold of Premiere is through paying a monthly subscription fee of $40 and you can get that from Adobe's Creative Cloud. Number 4, DaVinci Resolve. For a long time, DaVinci Resolve has been the go-to software for color grading professionals in Hollywood movies. Now with its free version of DaVinci Resolve 14, it comes with a full-on editing suite built right in. I'm going to be honest, it's really impressive at what the free version can do. You can trim your clips, add transitions, modify audio, and of course use its flagship color grading software that tracks facial movements for more precise coloring. However, DaVinci Resolve is known to crash for the average consumer as it requires high CPU and lots of RAM. Now for beginners that are relatively new, the program has a really steep learning curve, especially for the advanced node-based color grading system. We recommend this software only if you're already an advanced editor looking to switch to a more professional tool. Last but not least, number 5, HitFilm. HitFilm has a really simple editing interface, but what distinguishes it from other software is it's basically like a combination of editing and special effects software in one, like Premiere Pro and After Effects combined. So if you're looking to make action, sci-fi, or other crazy videos with 3D special effects, you might want to consider HitFilm. But beware, it's, it has quite a steep learning curve and can be laggy at times. Also, HitFilm is known to crash for consumer type footage such as the iPhone and is pretty sluggish, unlike Filmora. Okay guys, so these are just simply tools to get the job done. But if you really want the best result, you have to work on the process before editing. 
you know, working on things like shooting, lighting, audio. And if you need help on that, we put together a bunch of tutorials you can check out here. I hope you guys found this review helpful, because we'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, 